In today's episode, you'll learn how to collaborate with other podcasters. Welcome to Podcasting Q&A, where you learn the best tips and strategies to launch, grow, and monetize your show. This week's question comes from Ashley. Hi, my name is Ashley Cheney, and I'm calling about my own podcast, Dear Food. Um, it's all about food and how it brings people together and, and the emotional reasons why we love food. And my question is this, I'm interested in collaborating with other podcasters. What's the best way to attract or um, get other folks to come on the podcast in return for maybe also going on their podcast? Uh, would love any tips for collaborating with other podcasters. Thanks so much. Thanks for your question, Ashley. One of the fastest ways to grow your podcast audience is by bringing influential guests onto your podcast and by being a guest on other podcasts. But how do you actually do that? Well, in this episode, we'll explain everything that you need to know to pull off a great podcast collaboration. <laughs> Step number one is to make your dream list. Come up with a list of all of the podcasters that you would be interested in working with. From podcasters that are a similar level to you as far as audience size and the amount of time you've been doing it, all the way up to the A-list celebrities of your space. Create an exhaustive list of all the podcasters you'd be interested in working with. And as you're brainstorming who that could be, you wanna keep two things in mind. Number one, you wanna make sure they're a good fit for your audience, that when you invite them onto your podcast, that it actually makes sense that, actually, you have a food podcast. If you are talking to somebody who doesn't eat food, I mean, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head, but if you find somebody who doesn't really like food, even if they have a million followers on Instagram, they're not gonna be a good fit for your audience. So you wanna be mindful of that, number one. The second thing you wanna consider is, does their podcast have a similar listener that yours does? Is their audience overlap that you're gonna be able to tap into when you actually pull this collab off? So Ashley, thinking through people that you could potentially collaborate with, sure, they're gonna be other food-based podcasts and that's kind of low-hanging fruit, no pun intended. Uh, but some other podcasts you could reach out to would be ones on emotional well-being. Or if you talk about how eating together affects relationships, you could reach out to relationship or marriage or parenting-based podcast where there might not be a direct correlation, but the kinds of people that are interested in those subjects you know would also be interested in what you talk about on your podcast. So don't just limit yourself to the direct podcasts that are just like yours. Think a little outside the box, but make sure that there's a good chance that whoever listens to that podcast would also be interested in yours. <laughs> Tip number two is to pitch each person on your dream list into doing a collaboration with you. And as you're brainstorming the kinds of people you wanna work with, you'll also wanna be thinking, what is the best way to get in touch with this person? Is it their email address? Is it social media? Is it a contact form on their website? Is it, super sneaky tactic here, their LinkedIn profile or their Patreon page? Both of those platforms tend to have better response rates when people are reaching out cold. And then when you do pitch them, make it a win-win. Make sure that they understand you are showing up to give to them and help their podcast. And just as a happy side effect, your podcast will also be helped. If they feel like they're getting more out of the deal than what they're giving to you, then they're gonna be much more likely to say yes and be excited about jumping into this collaboration with you. Now, once you've agreed to do a podcast collaboration with another podcaster, how do you actually do that? What does that actually look like? Well, there are three main ways that you'll see podcasters go about this. The most common one is the guest star appearance where you go on their podcast as a guest talking about the things that you know best and then they come on your podcast as a guest talking about the things that they know best. And when you go and you guest star on each other's podcasts, you really over deliver for each podcast audience and then at the very end, you let them know, hey, if you wanna hear more or if you wanna hear this person on my podcast, then click this link and go over here. So that's the most common way, just be a guest on each other's podcasts. But if that isn't really gonna work out, the time is not gonna work out, you can't really find a good time during the week to be able to schedule that recording, one of these other two strategies can work as well. The first one is a podcast takeover. So this sounds like really violent, but all that it means is that you are dropping an entire one of your episodes into the other person's podcast feed, and then they are doing the same. So if I have a podcast about cereal, and Ashley, we're doing a podcast takeover of each other, I would jump on your podcast and you would share a full episode from my serial podcast. And then likewise, 
I would share a full episode from your Dear Food podcast. And what you would typically do as the host is record an intro, talk about why you're sharing this bonus episode with your listeners, and then release the episode in its entirety. And you could sync up the releases with the other podcasts so that you're collaborating and taking over each other's feeds at the same time. And then the third way that you could do this, and this is a little more creative, is to record a podcast segment for the other person's show. So Ashley, let's say for instance, you are doing a podcast about cereal and I have a cereal podcast. So I will record a short six minute podcast segment that you can drop right in the middle of your episode talking about what I'm really good at talking about, which is breakfast cereal. And that can now become a part of your episode. And then at the end of your episode, you can encourage people to go and check out my podcast and vice versa. Thanks for sending us your question, Ashley. Now, if you have a question you want us to answer on a future episode of the show, just go to speakpipe.com slash buzzsprout or click the link on the show notes and record a brief audio message. You can find podcasting Q&A both as a video and a podcast. So if you prefer video, make sure you subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel. Or if audio is more your thing, you can find podcasting Q&A in your favorite podcast listening app. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And as always, keep podcasting.